Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the monitoring of data pipeline runs in Microsoft Fabric. Here on the screen, we can see the official documentation page of the data factory documentation for Microsoft Fabric, where they have illustrated a how-to guide on monitoring the data pipeline runs in the Fabric. And here they have given the different ways to review and monitor the pipelines or the pipeline runs or executions. We will explore this in the current video. So let's go to the fabric. Here we are in the fabric browser page. There is one pipeline and here we can see pipeline copy assistant on which we will see the different monitoring aspects of the data factory pipelines. So this pipeline has executed and succeeded as we can see in the pipeline status succeeded and in the output tab we can see the execution, the activity name, status, run start, time, duration, input and output. Okay, it looks the same as in the Azure data factory. So we'll see one by one. This is the activity name, input and output first we will see. So we'll click over the input it will show us the input, same as data factory, the output, the results of the copy activity which is used here. And then we have this activity name, where if we click on the activity, it will give us the copy data details. So this copy activity, what it is doing is, it is connecting to the source, which is Azure Blob Storage and going or copying the data from this Blob Storage to Lakehouse which is fabric lake house data which is read files read rows read and copied status start time etc and the other details are given of the pipeline the duration duration breakdown advanced section how it is executed it is manual or triggered run this section will appear upon opening the activity name to monitor the details of the pipeline we'll close this next we have view run detail if we click over it it will show us the different details who owns this pipeline? It is run by which trigger, start time, end time, status, then parameters which are used and pipeline run ID. We we'll close it. Next, we can export the data to CSV. Then we have the filter option with the different status of the activities, whichever we want to see in the output. Then the column options, column options, whether we want to see the activity type, run and etc. Okay, we can include all these columns as well in the output section of the pipeline execution. Now, at the top, we can see here view run history. We will click on view run history. View run history will open up a new page which will have the recent runs of the pipelines. We can see here the start time of the oldest run, oldest execution and then the newest. Suppose we want to see why this execution failed, we can click on the activity name and in the activity status, we can see the error details. Okay, the error details are given. Okay, so we'll go back. We'll go to the run history again and at the bottom, we can see go to monitoring hub. We'll click on go to monitoring hub. It will open up the monitoring hub, hub page for this particular pipeline. It will display the newest run at the top and the oldest at the bottom. Here we can see there are few filters. So the item name here selected is copy assistant pipeline. So that's why only for the pipeline copy assistant, the data is displayed in the monitoring hub. The status, item type, whether it is a data pipeline or something else, start time submitted by location. Then at the top, we can see here, there are few filters. Suppose we want to only see the succeeded runs of this pipeline. We can apply, we can select that filter and apply. So it will not show us the other options like the status which are failed or unknown, etc. So we'll remove succeeded and clear all filter, apply. Then the column options what all details we want to see here in the monitoring hub page. 
if you select any run of this pipeline and click on the three dots it will give us three options whether we want to retry means rerun we want to see the details or open this instance okay so let's view detail it will show us the detail for this pipeline the name owner start time end time status etc okay we'll close it now, if you want to see in the monitoring hub other items as well the item name selected at the top is pipeline copy assistant we can remove this filter we can remove that filter and now we can see the different item types and their activity okay this monitoring hub is showing all the items so, so in order to reapply that filter for that particular pipeline we'll go to this filter section under the item type we will select data pipeline apply it will show us all the different pipelines so now we have filtered on the data pipeline so it will show us all the different data pipelines which are present in this workspace it will show us the different pipelines which have executed in this location or the workspace by the current user in this way we will use monitoring hub to monitor data pipelines now let me go to the workspace directly we are using the workspace cloud knowledge data factory and here the different resources which are created in this particular workspace are displaying similar to the monitoring hub here also we have the filter option we'll select only the data pipelines so the data pipelines are now displayed and similar to the monitoring hub here also we have these three dots in front of the pipeline name we'll click over it open the lead settings add to favorites lineage view detail view etc we will open this recent runs section this will also open the same page as it displayed when we opened the pipeline directly okay and it will again give you the monitoring hub option to open will open here from here the monitoring hub and we can see the item name is copy assistant which is a data pipeline and inside the workspace cloud knowledge data factory now let's open the latest instance of this activity it will show us under monitoring hub the pipeline copy assistant page where it will show us the option to rerun refresh update pipeline to view in the form of list or gantt the default view will be list we can select gantt to view the gantt view which will display the timeline here which will display the result in the form of gantt chart we'll go back to the list here and in the listed output same input and output will be present we can apply the filter filter export to csv column options are given and here on the right side the pipeline run details through this update pipeline option we can update the pipeline which we are viewing in the monitoring hub so yeah this will take us directly to the main pipeline and we can make the changes over here directly so this is how we can monitor the pipeline runs directly from the pipeline through this view run history okay or or if we are there in the workspace we have options present there also to view the run history go to the monitoring hub see the status filter it and the details of the executed runs hope you understood the monitoring of the data pipelines in fabric since fabric is continuously evolving we can expect many more enhancements in these existing functionalities thank you for watching the video happy learning bye